Number 16, determine the oxidation states of the element in the following compounds. And then we have C out of the bunch. So we have to find out the oxidation states of each element in lithium uh, nitrate, so LiNO3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it over here, LiNO3. And just a quick couple of things. Uh, I went through the full-blown analysis of oxidation states in number 16A. So if you want, you could you know, go to the end of this video, click the playlist and go to 16A. Um, that will give you the full rundown. But now we're just going to talk about how to find these oxidation states. Okay, so for this one, what we're going to do is we have a little bit of an issue here because we have three elements. Usually what happens is you'll have two elements in which you can easily solve for both elements oxidation states. However, you have lithium, you have nitrogen, and you have oxygen, okay? Now, there's a little bit of a trick here. What we're going to do is we're going to just do this in terms of an algebraic equation. It is the easiest way, in my opinion, um, to do this, all right? And usually what happens is the more farther in you go from both sides of your equation, the more likely you will not know your oxidation state. You will normally know your oxidation states for the ones that are at the ends, and you're basically trying to solve for nitrogen, okay? So just know that I basically have three different elements, right? I have lithium, and maybe we'll color code this. I have lithium, I have nitrogen, and I have oxygen. Remember, if we're doing this algebraically, we only should have one unknown that we don't know, right? We can only solve for an X. We can't solve for an X and a Y in one, one shot. So I should be able to know two out of the three oxidation states. And like I said before, it's always the ones that are more outside of the uh, group. Usually you're always going to solve the one that's in the middle. That's the little trick. So you should know lithium and you should know oxygen. Now let's see. Here's lithium, right? It's in group one. Oh, so lithium would have a plus one charge. So I'm just going to write down, okay, plus one. And you know what? I'll just say ox state. So we'll say ox state. And now oxygen, what do you think? Oh, well, oxygen's over here right? It's in group 16. And oxygen would be a negative two. Now, some, some of you guys will be like, well, hello, you know, nitrogen's over here. Nitrogen says that it's, it's a negative three. Why isn't this a negative three? Well, these numbers only come from compounds that have only two elements in it. When you crisscross two elements, this one has three. So the nitrogen that idea goes out the window. That's why we have to solve for it. So I don't know that oxidation state. I'm gonna put it as an X. The next thing that you have to do is you have to just tally up how many do you have. So we'll say, you know, quantity. Actually, we'll just say, you know what? We'll say number, that's better. So how many lithiums do you have? How many nitrogens do you have? How many oxygens? I have only one lithium, so one. I have one nitrogen, right, literally one here, and I have three oxygens. Now, what you're going to do is all three of these, right, the lithium, the nitrogen, and the oxygen, if we add them all together, they should equal the total charge. And the total charge is always going to be in the upper right-hand corner of the compound. But if I look over here, was there any charge in the upper right-hand corner? No, there was no charge. So what number represents no charge? It's neutral, right? So it would be zero. So everything 
lithium, nitrogen, and oxygen, they all should come together to equal zero in this case. Now all you have to do is you just have to multiply these two, uh, actually these three things. So you always multiply your oxidation state by the numbers, and then you just add them together, right? So it would be multiplying these two plus multiplying this together plus multiplying this, and that should always equal the total charge. So one times a plus one is a one plus one times X is X plus negative two times three is a negative six. However, you know, plus, plus a negative six is just a negative six. So just clean this up. One minus six is a negative five. So I can just say that this is the same thing as X minus five, and then just solve for X plus five plus five. And look at that. The X was a plus five. And, and usually you should have the plus here. You shouldn't have just a five. And that's what the X value was. That was the oxidation state of nitrogen. It was a plus five. And you see how it doesn't check out with what it says on the chart? Because remember, these are only if you had two compounds crisscrossing. So now we can list all of our oxidation states. We could say, and I'll say it over here, lithium was a plus one. Nitrogen was a plus five. And oxygen was a negative two. In terms of what this actually means, this tells me how many electrons I gained or lost when you made this compound. Lithium with the plus one actually lost one electron. Each lithium loses one electron. There's only one though, so. Nitrogen gained, oh, actually, no, no, it's a plus, so it lost five electrons, Oof. And then each oxygen was a negative two, so that means that you gained, you gained two electrons. Okay, so just remember that positives really mean losing, negatives really mean gaining, mainly because electrons are negative. And that's that, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want, it's only a button. Please, pretty please. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next question. I hope you guys have a great day, and let's keep studying hard, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.